So before this video gets started, I just want to say a big shout out and a big thank you to my Patreon supporters, so my new Patreon supporters, Kaz and Helen. Massive shout out to you guys. If any of you want to support the channel, there is a link below to our Patreon and um, we do or we're starting to do additional content and stuff for you guys uh, and that's the plan for sort of moving forward as well so with all that being said and done let's get to the video a couple of things to point out then i've measured the 10 and 20 percent marks on on this rack and i've marked those with a permanent sharpie blue line just to make my water changes a bit easier so if i want to do a 10 or a 20 percent and i'm never going to go over the 20 percent although i believe i could my next thing for these tanks is to start putting prices on stuff or price ranges dependent on what they are i've still to do these tanks but i'll do those and i'll do the same i'm going to put a 10 and a 20 percent marker on those so water change day to day probably trim the plants i've probably got way way too much of the hornwort and I probably need to trim that back a little bit. Um, likewise, I've got lots of flame moss. Um, I'm tempted to sell some of the like portions of the flame moss off, but uh, I do have snails in these tanks. So unless um, I suppose I could put something on that says, you know, may contain snails and um, I'll sell that off cheap. I have got a couple of, um, I've only got two of them. But I've got a couple of these hookeration mosses as well that, that I've just sort of strapped up. And I could probably do a load more. I've got a lot of hooker moss in my blue bolt tank. So I've got the lid up at the moment. But you can see that hooker moss, there's loads of it. And uh, that's on mesh pads. That started on mesh pads. There's my other one there in my dragon blood tank. So let's get the water changes done. I might set this up on the time lapse and we'll sort of work our way through that. But I do want to mark up. And the sharp eyed amongst you might have noticed that I've got some ivy leaf or grape leaf um, scattered about the place. They were just cheap on eBay and I thought they'd be nice to break the, the, the edges of the tank, uh, you know, the racks and the stock racks off. So uh, we'll, get, we'll get that done. And uh, the also eagle eyed of you might have noticed that I've got a breeder box on the front of my galaxy tank and what I want to do is separate out some of the blues from there. I may end up moving my pure black line into the mix tank. So there's only a few of them that I didn't do very well with them. Uh, I might move some of them onto the mix tank and eventually move and start a blue line in, in that tank as well. But uh, there are shrimp up for sale on the website, guys, if you guys uh, are in the market for some shrimp. And I need to do a bit of a call on my orange neos as well. So I think the calls are going to go in the house and I'm going to try and keep a line of, of the better oranges. And then ultimately, I think my long term plan, I don't know if I'll get this done this weekend, is I've got a couple of shelves down here that need to be sort of cleared out, really um that they've just got stuff on that i don't need in here and then i'll move the pods and i am going to stick another couple of tanks in here but i do need help with that because i can't lift the frog the frog tanks on my own um just too heavy for my back and there's the older three of the four froggies but the four are in here can't see the fourth one so they're, 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 they're waiting for dinner they're getting really brave and when i tip the flies in now they actually jump onto the uh, the cork bark while I'm tipping the flies in. So they are getting brave and they're getting sort of accustomed and used to me. Nothing still in this tank. Um, I, I do have a few slugs in here that I keep sort of trying to put a bit of cucumber in and pull those out. But um, the frogs that I want, I am going to wait for. But I was told sort of April, May of this year. So uh, we're not too far away. And by the time this video goes out, you guys will have seen Spider Haven. And you would have also seen this tank. Now, I'm not going to mention what's going in that. It is a Neo tank. I did plan on using it to selectively breed or to, to bolster the orange line. But that's not happening. There's something special going in this one. So keep an eye out for that. 
um, or I'll put a link up now to that to that video um, where we built this tank and stuff and uh, I, I'm, I expect that to go out before this video so keep uh, keep watching I'll set this up on time lapse we'll do a bit of work in here oh and uh, something else that's new as well is I've set up my handwriting horrendous guys but I've set up a little whiteboard with all my tasks in and what I'm what I'm doing on each of those tasks so I'll do one of these ta obviously these tasks daily and the blue magnetic marker at the bottom I'm just going to drop at the, at the bottom once I've completed the day so I don't forget med to make me forget but uh, let's crack on anyway speak to you soon things I wanted to mention, apart from the fact that my beard's really fluffy and I'm growing it, is when I do a water change, and one of these I use a couple of times a week, so apologies if I'm banging on about it, I had PS Bacta, so after every water change I had PS Bacta, now it does come with a larger spoon than this, but what I do is I use the small spoon out of one of the other Quadrop products, and I put a small spoon of that in after every water change of PS Bacta just to top up the beneficial bacteria and likewise I really think it helps with, with algae growth and then in addition I do this a couple of times a week anyway uh, I add Pico newborn or the older one um, I can't put my hands up one straight away dependent there is so Pico um, juvenile so it depends on what I've got in the tank I don't add it if there's no buried mums or babies or I can't see any buried mums or babies but if I see buried mums or newborns I add this uh, and I mix between the two to be fair and most of the time I just use the newborn one of the things that's worth mentioning is this is seriously out of date I've used it for ages and you can probably see by the dirt around the top that my hands have been on this a few times um, in Europe you have to put a use by date on stuff or a best before date I've even got dried leaves with that, I know I've mentioned it in the past, but uh, it's European so it has to have a date, but I've used it and food well past their dates and I've never had a problem with it, so that's what I do after every water change and those of you that have followed, I also, when I remineralise, I use either the rich one or SL, SL dark water, SL aqua dark water, just to put some humic and forbic acids in that mix before that goes back, so theoretically I'm altering the pH a little bit, I'm lowering the pH by putting humic and forbic acids into that, that pre-mixed RO water or that RO water that I add the minerals to. So let's get back to it, I've done half, I've done two thirds of the rack, I've got to do the bottom one and then I'll probably do the other two racks tomorrow. So on my board that I mentioned I've got water changes Saturday and Sunday just because I need to film my 80 litre bucket up and remix and it doesn't do all of the racks and then tomorrow I'll do the neo tanks as well but I do those in a, a 25 litre bucket so I'm mixing a 25 and use a different pump so let's get back to that anyway and I'll do a little bit more time lapse and we'll get the bottom shelf done seen me on the time that I struggle to get up and down off the seat so previously I was struggling to stand since my back's changed I'm struggling to sit or the transition between sitting and standing and bending over and stuff so I'm actually using this stick I've got a trailing socket that I use on the floor and I'm actually using this stick to turn on the pump switch onto the pump so I can get the top up system working and I always leave it with the valve closed and then open it and I've set it so it opens in the way of the flow um, just 
just to sort of get that moving and what will happen once I've once that's full I may decide to do a couple of these tanks but I'm more likely to fill this bucket up again do the top and bottom two and the two to the right and do the water changes on those and I mark these as well so top um, this one loses a lot of evaporation but it may have a leak but can't find the leak so I need to keep an eye on this one but I do have another two of these tanks so at some point I might replace it or, or get some more made that size but uh, at the moment we're doing okay frogs are watching me so that's sort of sat the maintenance um, I'll do this rack and that rack tomorrow um, probably won't record that but what I may do is record myself doing this and then I might even drop a bit of video in on culling these so I can see some really sort of pale ones in there that have got any colour at all they need to come out and need to develop that, that orange line a bit better so that's it for today let's pick back up tomorrow thought I'd probably better video this for you lot as uh, for a bit of prosperity but I've um, as you can see the frog tanks are off the top rack at the moment so we've moved those temporarily over to here and this is the back of one of them I've just used my lighting over the top of there but the reason we've moved them is because we've put some tanks in place on this rack that the frogs were on and I have to remove the top shelf in order to get those tanks in because of the angle iron they're awkward to get in so um, they've been moved off temporarily I'm really tempted to put a socket like an extension socket up on the wall up there just so I've got some additional plugs if I need them but um, my friend came around earlier and helped me lift them off they're, they're way too heavy for me to even contemplate on my own so um, I've already got one of these tanks with I've used a bag of master soil actually that I had left over that was open and I've put the bacters on there so I've used two bacters I've used bio bacter and PS bacter so I'll get that filled hopefully today when I've got um, got these tanks back in place as I said I am tempted while I've got this top shelf off to get a, an extension socket up on the wall I don't know if I've got any spare that have got back hooks on them so I might need to go and buy one but um, that's that's if I do it I can always do it sort of after the event but uh, just thought I'd show you guys that I'll go through the cycling of this so this soil does leach ammonia and, and therefore it will need cycling and uh, I need to level it out a little bit but I'll wait till I've got it filled before I do that and uh, I'll probably put the top up system and extend the top up system to that as well so the original plan was I was going to have another neo tank um, I might still do that but I think I'm going to have two more Caradina tanks and do a bit more selecting from from the tanks that I've got and get some sort of breeding lines going but uh, I thought I'd record that anyway all back in place then just filling up the the left hand tank and all I've done temporarily is I've just connected a double float valve that I use around the house just connect it to my normal water pump and um, filling it up in sort of double quick time so frogs are back everything's back in place I still need to find I need to cut a sponge for the right hand tank so they're using these these little back corner filters and um, Hamburg matten style sponges so I just need to get that, that one cup for the the right hand one um, I did have one but I don't know what's happened to it so I'll uh, I'll cut a piece of matten to size and we'll get that going I'm, I was tempted with one of them to cut that corner piece out and just use a UGF box but the UGFs are quite these tanks are quite short and I don't think I'd have to end up cutting the pipe on the UGF, I think, so I'm just going to stick with the sponges for now.